moving things for our just flows from us. Uh, controls individuals, yet we have free will. We have a destiny if we want to follow it. We live for a reason and must discover what it is. It looks like it was done when I started episode one. Oh, okay. Because it looks like it's referring to episode one. And a lot of this, like this thing about the forest, you know, and all living things in the surround us is really just a, uh, a capsule of what was said in uh, episode five. The core of the force. I mean, you got the dark side, the light side. One is selfless, one is selfish. And you want to keep them in balance. What happens when you go to the dark side is it goes out of balance and then you get really selfish and you forget about everybody. And you ultimately, lead yourself because when you get selfish, you get stuff or you want stuff. And when you want stuff and you get stuff, then you get are afraid somebody's going to take it away from you, whether it's a person or a thing or a, a particular pleasure, experience. Once you become afraid that somebody's going to take it away from you, or you're going to lose it, then you start to become angry, especially if you're losing it. And that anger leads to hate. And hate leads to suffering. Mostly on the part of the person who's selfish. Because you spend all of your time being afraid of losing everything you've got. Instead of actually living. Where joy, by giving to other people, you can't think about yourself. And therefore there's no pain. But the pleasure factor of greed and of selfishness is a short-lived experience. Therefore, you're constantly trying to replenish it. But of course, the more you replenish it, the harder it is to, so you have to keep up in the ante. You're actually afraid of the pain of not having the joy. So that is ultimately the core of the whole dark side, light side of the force. Um, and everything flows from that. Obviously, the Sith are always unhappy because they never get enough of anything they want. Mostly, their selfishness centers around power and control. And the struggle is always to be able to let go of all that stuff. But of course, that's the problem. Anakin ultimately is. You're allowed to love people, but you're not allowed to possess them. And what he did is that he you know, fell in love and then married her and then became jealous. And then he saw in his visions that she was going to die. He couldn't stand losing her. So in order to not lose her, he made a, a pact with the devil to be able to become all powerful. But of course, when he did that, she didn't want to have anything to do with him anymore. Once you were powerful, being able to bring her back from the dead well, if I can do that, then I can be emperor of the universe. I can get rid of the emperor. I can do everything. I can make everything the way I want it. And once you do that, you know, you're, you'll never be satiated. You're always going to be consumed with this driving desire to have more stuff and be afraid that others are going to take it away from you. And of course they are. Because every time you get two Sith together, you have the, the, the master, you have the apprentice, and it went, the apprentice is always trying to recruit another apprentice to join with him to kill the master. And the master knows that he's basically everybody below him wants his job. The only way to overcome the dark side is through discipline. The dark side is pleasure, biological, and temporary, and easy to achieve. The light side is joy, everlasting, and difficult to achieve. A great challenge must overcome laziness, give up quick pleasures, and overcome fear, which leads to hate. If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.